In this video for Pack and Ship Business Center owners, we're going to talk about the financial opportunities to really grow your business through digital mail. Morning, Brandon. Nice to see you. Good to see you. So as someone with some real pack and ship expertise here, I want to ask you the question that seems to be you know, coming up a lot, which is, how does digital mail grow my business? In the context of renting mailboxes, historically, somebody would have to rent a physical space mm. in one of our, our stores mm -hmm. and go there every day to pick up their mail. Right. So we were limited in our market. We had to draw from people that were conveniently oriented. But now with digital mail, virtual mail as it were, we can capture customers from anywhere in the world. So I don't know how to quantify how big that market <laughs> is now. It's literally worldwide. Right. So when a, a store owner is looking for a way to expand their financial offering that really helps them, mm. I'd be hard pressed to find something that represents a bigger market than this one does. Yeah, something galactic to Mars uh, <laughs> That's hasn't close. shown up yet. Yes. I know that makes a lot of sense. So the first piece of financial health here is that you can expand your market from, I mean, I want to say typically three or five miles you know, out from your store to really an international audience. Absolutely right. I think three, three to five miles is generous in today's <laughs> market, which is contracted. It's a much tighter marketplace. It's very competitive, just like everything else. So with the digital service, it allows us to capture a customer from anywhere on the planet that receives mail or packages. So can I ask with that in mind, uh, and our first point here obviously is expanded market. Second uh, question I have for you is uh, people are concerned that digital mail is going to arguably uh, contract them financially. Can you talk to me about how not only do you give a big, get a bigger market, but you can often wind up with, sort of, so to speak, more per customer per month you know, through using this technology. Can you explain how that would work? Yeah, of course. And, and there are two ways that you can make additional revenue in a store. One is to get new customers. One is to sell more to the existing customers. Right. And with the digital mailbox service, since many of the things that you do for a mailbox customer in that mm. capacity is revenue driven. That is, every time you do a function or a service for them, there's an additional fee associated with that. Right. So every new digital mailbox customer probably represents a much larger revenue per customer transaction than a regular mailbox customer. Because you have to decide if you're going to open, forward, shred, uh, repackage, reship the mail, and all of those are additional revenue points. Absolutely, and as a person who is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm captured by this idea by the way, one of the functions as a person who's interested here is that you, you, there's a service called iPostal One, obviously we, we're talking from, from this perspective. You can even bank checks, is this right, or is this just a rumor? It, it's really amazing. I gotta tell you, the guys at iPostal One have put together, in my view, the most robust system for managing just about any of these business-related services that have anything to do with mail, including, as you said, making bank deposits that have come in the mail. That, that's one of their newer ads, and every time I turn around, they're doing something new and innovative with this system. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you so much for all your expertise. Appreciate it. Uh, for people who are interested in finding out more or signing up their own pack and ship business center to the iPostal One system, it's as easy as finding your way to iPostalOne.com, and you'll find all the information you need there to jump in and add to your own business and your own financial health. Thank you.